In another ADHD continuing medical education session, Dr. Joseph Biederman, professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School and physician at Massachusetts General Hospital, discusses ADHD medications and how to handle psychiatric comorbidities such as depression, anxiety, phobia, OCD, Tourette's, nicotine dependence, and alcoholism. Only 20% of ADHD adults are diagnosed and treated, so most of what clinicians will see in their clinical care first are other mental and behavioral health disorders that accompany ADHD. 40% of ADHD patients have nicotine dependence. 30% of patients show alcohol abuse. 50% of ADHD patients have major depressive disorder, and another 50% of patients have anxiety disorder. If you don't know about or treat the underlying ADHD, standard medical protocols will not relieve the other disorders we've just mentioned. In this one-hour ADHD CME session, you will learn which adult ADHD symptoms to treat first, which combinations of ADHD medications and cognitive behavioral therapy to use, and how to reduce the risk of these comorbidities by treating ADHD as early as possible in the patient's life. You will also learn what symptoms of ADHD can be reduced by medications and which symptoms respond better to other treatments. Join us at ADHDinadults.com, ADHD and Comorbidity.